Hello everyone. So here I'm again back with another video. So today's video uh, is regarding a topic uh, which was requested by one of my viewers. So today I will teach you how you can change the color of the syntax in VS Code. Like there are uh, themes uh, with the help of which the text colors change. Like I can show you an example. Suppose this is the file. Uh, so uh, here you can see the color of this function keyword is valid. And then this parameters is red. And uh, this console is uh, something gray color. So if you do not want uh, these colors, uh, you want to change any of the syntax color, but you want to keep the uh, theme as it is. So what you can do is uh, you can edit the themes file and then you can customize uh, whatever color you want. Okay. So what I will do is first I'll go and show you uh, what theme I use and I'll go to the uh, file location as well where the theme is saved. And then I'll take a backup of the theme so that the original configuration doesn't uh, go away. And I'll edit the uh, copied file. Okay, so let's start. So to check uh, which theme you are currently using, uh, you need to go to the command palette. And from there, you can uh, check the theme, theme name. Okay, so to check that, uh, click on uh, Control shift p which will open the command palette, this is the command palette. Uh, or you can do one thing, you can go to the settings and here you will see command palette, okay? So I'm uh, opening this. Now type here preferences. So here you will see preferences color theme. So I'll click on that. And now here are multiple uh, themes, I have installed it over here. Uh, the theme which I use is uh, this one. Um, one moment, let me show you. Uh, this one. So you can see over here the name is a Community Material Theme Ocean High Contrast. Okay, so this is the full name of the theme. Okay, now I'll show you the file location where it is saved. Okay, so uh, I'll just open my file explorer. This is the file explorer and inside this uh, this PC uh, your path can be different but I'm showing you uh, my uh, path and uh, you can find your uh, themes in the VS code directory like wherever you have installed the VS code open that directory and from there you can uh, find these themes so I'll show you now uh, it's in my C drive then it's users my name and then it is vs code and then it is um, extensions okay so here you can see um, this is the folder in which the, my theme is uh, installed okay uh, there are other extensions and themes as well that is that I have installed uh, but uh, you need to uh, search for it uh, in your machine and see which which is the folder in which your themes are being stored. So this is my folder. I'll just open this folder. And then inside that there is another folder named themes. So I'll open that. Now here you can see other themes as well which comes under this community material theme. So uh, the file uh, which you need to edit is um, this one. This is my uh, theme name. Community material theme ocean high contrast. So I need to edit this file, but I will not uh, like edit right away. First, you need to take a backup of this uh, whole folder. Okay. So uh, what I did is I basically uh, took a backup and kept it in this zip file. So here is my backup. These are the original code. Like if anything goes wrong, like while editing the file, if the file gets deleted or some part of the code gets deleted, then I can uh, just uh, restore this backup and edit there. So just always keep a, keep a backup of these uh, files. And now 
I'll show you uh, how to edit. So now uh, you need to uh, open this file, uh, this .json file in the editor, like VS Code editor. So I'll just drag it and copy it over here. So this is a JSON file which you need to edit. Um, but what I will do is I'll uh, keep this window open and I'll open another uh, VS Code window. I will tell you why I'm doing this. Just give me a few minutes. So here I'll just open another window. So now here you can see I have opened uh, two VS Code windows. So on my left hand side I will check the changes that I have made and on my right hand side editor I will uh, make the changes in the JSON file. Okay. Also, uh, I have created uh, two JavaScript files. One is the script.js and the second one is test2.js. So I will uh, open these this script.js in my right hand side window. I'll just open this and I will split the screen. So now here you can see uh, these are my two screen screens inside this right window, right side window. And I'll close the script from this one. So now here you can see uh, on this left hand side of my right window, uh, I have the JSON file. And on my right hand side of this uh, right window, I have opened the script.js file. Okay, and I did not use a uh, test dot like test two dot js. Now I will use it later. This one, I'll show you when I'll use that. So just let me make the screen a little bigger, so it will be easier for you to understand. Okay. So now here you see, uh, suppose you want to change the color of this function, function keyword. Okay, so what you will do is uh, bring the cursor in this function word and you have to open command palette again. So click on control shift P and make sure your cursor is on the right file that is in that uh, JS file. Okay, but if you suppose you are uh, clicking this comment in this JSON file and opening command palette, then it will uh, affect this, uh, I mean this JSON file and not this uh, JS file. So always keep in mind that you need to place the cursor in this uh, JS file. Okay, once you place this cursor in the function word and open command palette, Type there developer, developer and you will get this option, inspect editor, tokens and scopes. Click on that. Now here you see, once you click on that uh, scopes option, developer scopes tokens option, uh, when you clicked on this function, it is showing the scopes and the settings and the color, like this is the color and uh, these are the scopes, okay. So these things are present in this JSON file. So what you will have to do is, uh, you'll have to find uh, this. You'll have to find storage dot, this is the full scope. But sometimes what happens is, uh, this full scope name is not found in this JSON file. So what you will do is, you will keep on, uh, first you will uh, copy this uh, whole thing, and like the full name of the scope, click copy, control C and go to this um, JSON file and click Control F for searching. So here you can see this is the search field. So I'll clear this and I'll paste it over here and you'll see it is showing no results. Okay, that is because uh, whatever is written in this uh, like the JS file storage.type.function and this full thing, it is sometimes not available in this uh, JSON file. So what you will do is keep on uh, deleting from the last, okay? Like I'm first deleting this, uh, like .js, it still it is showing no results, okay? So I'll just keep on deleting until it shows some results, like one or two or whatever it is. Now here you can see it's still no results. And now when I click on uh, this function, I'll delete. 
Now here you see storage dot type. It has found one result, and it is over here. It is showing in this rectangular box. Okay, so once you find this, uh, it means that you need to edit in this scope. Okay, so this is like this is the curly bra braces. You can see blue colored curly braces. This is the scope in which you need to edit. Now here you can uh, verify as well. Uh, you can see over here the foreground color is C seven nine two E A, and over here also you can see C seven nine two E A. Okay, so this is the scope you need to edit. So uh, need to change this color. Okay, so what I'll do is uh, I'll type something like suppose F F F. This is the white color. Okay, and remember one more thing. Uh, you need to put over here hex code of the color. You cannot write um, something like uh, white or uh, uh, red. Uh, I mean, you cannot write the name of the color, or uh, you cannot even uh, write the RGB color. Okay, that is RGB, and you write like this now, like uh, inside this zero comma zero comma zero comma zero point five. This is the black color. Which has 0.5 of opacity. Okay, so you cannot write this. It will not accept this color. Okay, it only understands hex code. So I'll have to write hash and FFF or whatever color you want. You can write that hex code over here. Then only it will uh, reflect the changes in this JS file. Okay. So now what I'll do is uh, I'll open. This test dot two js. That is because I cannot see the difference in this script dot js, and I cannot reload this uh, right side window. That is because if I uh, reload this window, the changes that are recently made, it will be saved to that, and you cannot go back. Like now, it is not reloaded, and now if I uh, do the changes, like I click Control Z. You can see I can go back to the previous changes. Okay, so this was the original uh, color, right? So I can go back. But if I click on reload, uh, so actually there is this reload extension that is installed in my VS Code. You can install that as well. Uh, what it will do is it will not close your VS Code, but it will reload. Okay. So if I click on reload, it will keep the last changes, and you cannot go back to the previous change that you made before that last change. Okay, so that is why I am opening another, uh, like another VS Code window on the left side, and opening this test2.js file in this left side window. Okay, so I'll just open this over here. I'll just drag and drop. So here you can see it is same code which is written in this script or JS file. Okay. So now here you can see the color of this function keyword is not changed. Now I'll just make the changes over here. I'll write FFF and click save, and I'll reload this side of the window. Okay. I'll click on reload. And now it will show the changes. See, it was previously violet color. Now it became white color. That is because I changed over here. Okay. Same way I can change uh, this params, this name, everything. You have to just find uh, the scope, and you have to just change this color. Okay. Uh, let me change uh, this white to some other color. Uh, for that, I'll open this uh, website uh, where you can find the hex code of Uh, the colors. Okay, so this is a CSS uh, website. I'll give you this link in the description box. From there, you can find this. Uh, it is uh, loading. Okay, so now here you can see. Uh, you can go to any color. Uh, suppose I'm dragging it down, and let me pick up a color. Uh, suppose this green color. Okay. So here is the hex code. I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here. So you can see, I'll just uh, save this and reload my 
left hand side window click to the changes here you can see now that it's changed to a uh, green color now okay i'll show you another example uh, so that it becomes clear to you so next is i'll click on this params now here you can see now always uh, check the name of the uh, like name of the word you are selecting okay so sometimes what happens is um, it does not take the right name like this is the bracket so you can change the bracket color color as well so always check this name the name is written over here okay if i go and click on this uh, function it should show over here function okay and then i'm clicking on this params that is the parameters it should show over here params okay now uh, i'll go to the scopes and i'll copy variables parameter and the whole thing and i'll click control c and come back to this part of the editor and click control f i'll delete this and paste it over here it is showing no results i'll keep on uh, deleting from the last until until it shows some result okay so uh, now you see over here okay uh, now when i deleted this last dot js it is showing uh, two search results okay if you click on enter and again enter it will basically uh, bring you to the two of the search results it's it found okay so here you see this is the scope in which you need to make changes this one this is the scope okay so you can verify also this is the color this is the color which is written over here also okay and i'll change this to some other color uh, let me go back to that css website and i'll make it it was uh, red right so i'll make it something uh, blue uh, this color or maybe a yellow okay so i'll just uh, copy this and i'll paste it over here and click save and i'll reload this left hand side window uh, now you will see it will uh, show the changes you can see over here it was red previously and now it is yellow in color okay so i hope you understood uh, the process how to change the syntax color uh, you will just have to play with these uh, scopes and variables just to set the colors you want okay uh, also i'll show you like if you want to go back to the original theme colors uh, which it was you can just go back uh, to this folder and extract the file like from here you can extract the file and bring it back to this themes folder like uh, extract from here and bring it back to this themes folder and uh, reload the uh, visual studio code and you'll be good to go okay so i hope you like my video uh, and if you have any suggestions you can comment in the comment section i would uh, always go through your comments and i will uh, see if i can make uh, videos on your suggestions okay so if you like my video please like and subscribe also share it among your friends i'll be back with another video till then take care bye bye